All right, you guys, it is update time in Star Stable and the horse that I am riding right now, yes, the Lipizzaner horse, just got a major glow up today. Look at that. The breed has been completely updated and for the first time ever, Star Stable has added in dressage. So come on, let's go and check it out. So now here at Jorvik Stables, as you approach, look at the horses that greet you now are the new updated Lipizzaners. Oh, did you see that? In the previous years, of course, it's been the Gen two, but now we've got the lovely, lovely Gen 3 here. Look at how beautiful they are. We can see them right here. Oh, there it is, the Gen 3 in black. See if we can get them to rear up again and greet. Oh, there we go. Oh, I love it, I love it. And then now the light gray one here, just like that. They greet you oh so beautifully. So the new horses are now right here and they are permanent in the game. They are not limited time. They will be always in the game, even after the equestrian festival leaves. So here is the stable filled with these beautiful horses. Look at how gorgeous, oh, they're so beautiful. Okay, so we've got seven different colors. So we've got the dark dapple gray. Is this a rose dapple gray? Light dapple gray. Fleet bitten, gray, bay, and black. So of course you can change the mane out and their tail to a braided shorter style. They just look so good. So I am welcoming in my beautiful new black mare, Shadow Dove, for the gray one. Ooh, Brain Octopus. Okay, who's bold enough to use that name? <laughs> Ship Spider, Royal Air. Oh, so sweet. I love how the gray ones have just so many variations in their manes with all the different colors. Like, look at that. Look at the braids with all those different gray colors. All right, the light dapple. This is Noble. Here he comes. Oh, look at, he's got like tiny little markings by his eye and on his nose. The rose dapple. Let's see, let's pick a name out for her. Midnight Rambler. Star Liberty. That's not bad. That's not a bad name. Trail Sand. Her name is Grace. Here she is with those lovely, lovely dapples. All right, the dark dapples. I mean, the dapples look like little starbursts, right? This one is gonna be starborn. Oh, I am just so crazy for dapples. I love them. The little flea bitten one. Ooh, magic drummer. That's another great name. Gloom Falcon. Diamond egg. All right, I have a pepper dancer. Cute little pepper dancer. All right, the last color is the bay. I don't really know. Should I go with posh quartz? He kind of shook his head yes. Could have go with bay quartz. Saddle spice. Heaven mother. Soul chestnut. We'll just keep it super simple. This is Posh. Welcome, Posh. Such a cutie. All right, perfect. Let's lead Royal Air over here. Oh, what is he doing? <gasps> oh no, the lead is broken. You can't lead your horses right now? No. Okay, I'm sure Star Sable will patch that. Well, we already have his bridle on. Let's get him all saddled up here. There we go. Should be good. All right, hop on up and let's check him out in a little bit more detail. These are very, very fancy horses. I don't know what it is about Star Sable's teaser videos, but they do not do the horses justice. When you see the Gen 3s in game, they are breathtaking. Uh, but I do have to admit that the gallop, it is a little, you know, rocking horse-like, but I'm sure Star Stable has studied the breed and they knew exactly what they were making whenever they modeled this breed after the real Lipizzaners. I'm not holding the reins. How am I supposed to do dressage if I'm not holding the reins? Oh, there we go. Okay, now I picked him up. All right, so shall we go and try out the dressage arena and see the special moves that this horse can do? Let's enter the ring. Look at the little beautiful canter. All right, we're just gonna hop in. Don't tell the judges. Oh, what was that ding? I think they saw. So the special move is the passage. There we go. Okay. So there we go. So there's the first special move. Very, very lovely. The next we have the Caprioli. This is very spectacular. Woo! Yes, did you see that? Let's see it again. Very, very special. And then it can perform the Levade. There we go. Very cute. Now, I do wish they didn't whinny every time that they performed it. Oh, there we go. Right, good job, Royal Air. Whoa, okay. He wanted to jump in the air. 
It's so lovely to see these horses get a glow up. All right, I think we're really ready for dressage now. So let's go ahead and let's put his mane and tail up. So go into the horse hairstylist. There we go. We got his tail up now. Now let's actually do some dressage. Oops. Welcome to the dressage arena. I got permission to run the dressage event to teach people the sport. Dressage is quite popular, but it's not really practiced here. You usually have to travel if you want to compete. So I'm trying to drum up some excitement because if more riders in Jorvik want to do dressage, then it might become a local thing, right? We could get some actual trainers and professional judges to come here. Sounds great. Well, try out my introduction to dressage. Okay, here we go. We're gonna try it out. Before we get started, the most important thing in dressage is performing the test correctly. It's not about speed. Aim for the highest amount of points instead. So how do you get points? Well, by doing the dressage test as close to perfection as possible. Think of it as a dance choreography. You practice some moves and perform them to the beat, but instead of dance moves, it's following a set of riding patterns in the arena as closely as you can while being in the correct gait. You get points for each pattern based on how well you did, ranging from zero to 10, with higher number being better. If you didn't follow the intended pattern, let's just say you go in the wrong direction or galloping when you should be in a canter, you'll get a penalty. Three penalties in one pattern and you're out. Either start again or go back to training and memorizing the pattern. Hit the books. Since it's your first time, I'll let you continue with the lesson despite how many mistakes you make. But I'll still call out the penalties because I like doing that. I'm not going to be blamed for teaching you wrong, all right? When you're ready, start by going to the first checkpoint in the middle of the arena while in a walking gait. All right, so as long as I pay attention up here, should be no problem. The thing that's super important in every dressage test is that you greet the judges. So show some proper respect with a bow. Did I do it? You're doing well so far. Go on to the next checkpoint right ahead. Turn to look behind you and to your left. If you see the green checkpoint over there, that means once you reach that checkpoint, you'll be instructed to change the gate. Okay, we're at a walk. Now we're coming up to the trot. Excellent. Yes. Okay, doing it. Keep trotting. Canter. Excellent. Oop, excuse me. And trot. Good. Looking pretty good. And walk. <gasps> Pay attention. Oops. Okay, I did it a little early. Excellent. Uh, thank you. Excellent. All right, that should give you an idea of how dressage works. Let's wrap things up. Just like you said hello, now it's time to say thank you and goodbye. Give the judges and the audience what they want. A bow before exiting the arena. I don't really see, oh, I'm doing it. I thought the horse was doing it. Okay, how did I do? Ooh, yeah, okay, I messed up a little bit. That was really fun though. Oh, there's the bell. Hopefully she doesn't yell at me. Good job. Keep in mind, that was a little test. It's no way close to how the real dressage could be. Should it come the next big thing here in Jorvik? Okay, this was actually really fun doing this. It's different than how I thought Star Stable would implement dressage, but I like this. Halt. Bow. Walk. Okay, right at the perfect time and go into a trot. Perfect. The judges are watching, and the cat is watching, most importantly. Okay, let's see if we can do a canter. There we go, perfect, good. Okay, take it down to a trot. Oh, I got a penalty. It was a little too soon. Okay, keep the trot. Oh, we're going in a circle now. And a canter. Now, oh, I got a penalty again. Okay, you have to time this absolutely perfectly. Did it, excellent. Perfect, walking right up to the judges again. Uh, hi there. Meow. <gasps> penalty added, because I was looking at the cat. Okay, canter, trot, penalty added. What, let's say, what? What? Um, okay. Well, guess I'm not very good at dressage. Oh well, plus 
There's Sabine over there watching me. I'd like to see her try to do dressage. All right, let's change out the horse and go and talk with Loretta. And also, they added in new saddle pads and a new saddle. This is the Iberian saddle, and it comes in different colors, such as hazel, porcelain, pecan, and ebony. And you can either get it in the gold variation or the silver variation. There's four new Iberian saddle pads. So the blue, the purple, the black, and the red. And my personal favorite are these faux fur saddle pads. Oh, I think they look so beautiful. All right, let's take a closer look. Okay, yeah, I don't think you can get any fancier than that. That is really, really fancy. Yeah, I wonder if I should try the dressage now. Maybe now I could really impress the judges. All right, championship. Ooh, I'm seeing a lot of the lippy horses here. Get all signed in. Okay, look, look at the dapples. This is not a Lipizaner horse right here. That is the Pesofino. But look at the dapples. They look identical compared to Grace. Like, look at those butts, those little speckled butts. <laughs> they look very similar. I love how you can see all of them jumping and leaping. <laughs> I want to join the jumping circle. There we go, jumping circle. We're all just leaping. <laughs> Look at, we almost like have like two of the same horses, the rose dapple and the light gray one. Oh, and then they're gone. Oh, her horse is named Homeless. Oh, I could go for a double cheeseburger right now. All right, nice. Championship done. Hey, Loretta, what do you think about the new horses that got updated? Hmm, let me see. I mostly care about what you're wearing. Are you ready for today's theme? Dress in pink. Okay, I'll dress like a bobcat girl again, except for these boots. I'm keeping these boots on. Hey, Loretta, what do you think about my bobcat's outfit with my boots? Hmm, so you're ready to present your outfit? Yes. Hmm, well, it looks like you nailed it. Where'd you get those boots? I mean, I admit it, pink suits you. Thank you, nice. She liked it. So how is it going with you leveling up and impressing the Baroness? I managed to get the bar to go completely up. It took me about five days of doing every championship, all the races. There it is. It says the Baroness is impressed. I don't know why it's on the ground. It might've glitched a little bit. Okay, there it is. It's moving around. Okay, the Baroness is impressed. Hi, Godfrey. Hmm. How well have you fared in the competition so far? Remember, the Baroness only recognizes the very best. The Baroness is tremendously keen on discovering the most remarkable rider in Jorvik. If you live up to her expectations, you have a chance to earn a prestigious ribbon from the Baroness. The Baroness has only granted this distinction to a very small number of riders. Yes, I want this ribbon. This ribbon has been associated with the Baroness family for generations. However, between you and me, I would say you have already earned quite the reputation. The Baroness will be pleased when she arrives. Yes. Okay. So once you hit complete full rep and impress the Baroness, Godfrey should give you this additional line right here. So this is what he says whenever you've completely gotten your reputation up to 80. But another thing to note about getting this ribbon right here, before you go and spend all of your spring tokens, Star Stable said that when the Baroness arrives, you'll be getting a chance to redeem a prestigious ribbon in exchange for tokens. So make sure you save some of your spring tokens if you want to be able to get this prestige ribbon from the Baroness once you've completely impressed her. There it is. It's so weird that it's just wiggling all over. <laughs> Hopefully I can impress them again with dressage. Let this one give 600 horse XP. All right, I'm ready. We're going to try this again. All right, we can do it. What? You have to memorize it? Oh, I'm going to fail. I'm going to fail. So if you try to do the mastery one, you have to actually have the moves memorized. Let's just try to go for it. Walk. A bow. Ta-da. Walk. Oh, I think I got a penalty already. And trot. Yes, okay. Say hi to the cat judge. Hi. Don't be mad because I brought a dog into the arena. Okay. Canter. Ready, set, canter. Yes. Okay. And trot. Okay, I got a penalty. What? Why did I get a penalty? What? What happened? <laughs> Is it impossible? Maybe. Okay, walk in very nicely. Halt. Oh! I got a penalty. Bow. Walk. Trot. I already saw people saying that they want to rage quit. Canter. Trot. But I don't understand why I got a penalty. What? 
Oh, because I was out of walk. All right, we have another horse breed that is going to be removed from the game. The next horse to leave for greener pastures is the Generation 1 Irish Cobb. During the Wednesday update on May 24th, they will leave Jorvik and will not be available for purchase from then on. Find them at Ferdinand's Horse Market before they receive their well-earned retirement. Due to them leaving soon, we lowered the price. You'll be able to purchase them for 280 star coins. So if you come here to the horse market, right in the front in like this horseshoe shaped little fenced in area you can see the Irish cobs so all six of these colors are going to be leaving these guys right here are going to be deleted from the game so if you want them grab them while you still can yeah I'm not sure what's going on in my barn it looks like my horses are trying to escape jump out look at all of my older horses are acting up Why are they acting this way Woodrow, what's wrong? Hey, hey, hey! Hey is acting really upset. Look, he really wants to jump out. Okay, these ones are all behaving. Chocolate egg is upset too. Okay, no idea why they're acting this way. This is so strange. Woo! Well, thank you so much for hanging out with me while we checked out this update in Star Stable. There was a lot to check out. I want to know, did you end up picking up one of the updated Lipizzaners? Also, I'm planning on doing a group trail ride, I think this weekend. So I'll have more information posted on that so we can play Star Stable together. Sending you lots of love, hearts, hugs, and horses. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, you guys.